on behalf of the Faculty of Health Sciences at the University of Johannesburg. I have great pleasure in extending a warm welcome to our Health Sciences students, your family and friends, our faculty management and staff. Congratulations on choosing our faculty. I am Professor Siham Khan, the Executive Dean for the Faculty of Health Sciences. As you may know, we are one of nine academic entities at UJ and one of three faculties situated at the Dwarenfontein campus. Most of our undergraduate programs are offered as four-year bachelor degrees, while we also offer higher certificates, advanced certificates, diplomas and three-year bachelor degrees. If you are watching this welcoming address, then you are possibly enrolled or will be soon for one of these qualifications. The Faculty of Health Sciences is home to 11 departments, four research centres and three support divisions. Members of the faculty management team will be presented to you during this introduction. You will at a later stage be introduced to staff members from your enrolled programmes by your respective head of department. While reflecting on the last few years and planning for the year, the faculty management team and I discussed aspects which are important for you to know as a student joining our faculty. We therefore thought it important to take this opportunity to remind you of a few things. Number one, mutual respect is important. Respect us because I guarantee that we will respect you. When I walk into a classroom for the first time, I always start by asking my students to structure classroom rules. They and I must adhere to these rules. Mutual respect is always top of our list. The way we engage and interact, the way we speak to each other, being punctual, submitting documents by a deadline, these are all indicators of mutual respect. And that is the foundation for any interaction with anyone within our faculty. Number two, value the seat that you have been given. In total, we have received over 50,000 applications and we could only offer space to just over 1,000 applicants. If you have been accepted into our program, you are occupying a space that 49,000 other applicants were vying for. I want you to take a moment and think about that. Congratulations. We are happy and proud to welcome you as part of our team. Now, value the seat that you have been given. Number three, consider this your job for the next few years. Work hard and be dedicated. I'm a first generation university graduate. Many of you may be too. Growing up on the Cape Flats, my sister and I had limited options to improve our financial situation. My mother, being a teacher, stressed one option, and that was education. As far as she was concerned, we would go to university and that was not negotiable. Since I am one of twins, my single mother would have to finance two students going to university at the same time. So my sister and I attended university during the day and we worked at KFC at night. But we had to make time to study, do the assignments, do the tutorials. We would arrive at home at approximately 10 p.m. at night and my mother ensured that we were studying by 3 a.m. the next morning. And that was my university experience. My mother's favorite saying is, my daughters aren't clever, they work hard. Today, my sister is a professor in the Department of Microbiology at Stellenbosch University and I am here at UJ. I am testament to the fact that hard work and dedication pays off. I am sure that many of the senior students and staff have similar experiences to mine. I want to implore and beg you, do not waste this opportunity. Value and treasure it. Our loved ones are working hard to ensure our success. Recognize and appreciate the sacrifices they make to ensure your success in life and be grateful. Working hard and being dedicated and making your studies a priority is not negotiable.
not if you want to ensure success. Which is why I said, consider this your job. Number four, be ethical and have a model compass. You opted to enroll for a qualification that is regulated by either the Allied Health Professions Council of South Africa, the Health Professions Council of South Africa, or South African Nursing Council. Soon you will be registered as a student health professional. You are held to a higher ethical compass. There is no grey area in our chosen profession. My personal mantra is this. Who are you and how do you behave when you think no one is watching? Being beyond reproach, being ethical and having a moral compass is not negotiable. You cannot waver when you have chosen a profession to serve and give back to your communities. Think about that when you are tempted to copy an assignment, use unsanctioned material in a test, or provide inaccurate data in your clinical books. Is that the behavior that you will mimic when you are in a profession working as a health professional? You will always represent the Faculty of Health Sciences at the University of Johannesburg. Anything and everything you do reflects not only on you, but reflects on us. And we have zero tolerance for unethical behavior. Number five, choose your friends wisely and maintain a balanced life. Be friends with people you admire and who truly want you to succeed. Be friends with people who will support you and encourage you. If somebody wants to skip classes or partake in unethical practices, now this is a term I recently um, found out about or realized you young people are using. Ghost them. They are not your friend. Friends want you to succeed. I know that I've been encouraging you to study and work hard. And now I'm saying to have a balanced life. I do want you to succeed, but I also want you to have a balanced life where friends and family are also prioritized. I want you to look back at your time within the faculty and I want you to smile. I want your time with us to be the most memorable, fulfilling and enjoyed times. So yes, work hard, be dedicated, but also find that balance. With these few words, I congratulate you again on choosing the Faculty of Health Sciences at UJ. You are part of our family. We are here to support you and we want you to succeed. Work hard, take advantage of this learning environment ask if you do not know and learn as much as possible. I will now take this opportunity to introduce you to the faculty management. Our Vice Dean Teaching and Learning and HOD of EMC, Professor Craig Vincent Lambert. Our Vice Dean Research and Internationalization, Professor Annie Temani. Our HOD of Biomedical Sciences, Ms. Julian Mutombeni. Our HOD of Chiropractic, Dr. Chris Halverton. Our HOD of Complementary Medicine, Dr. Radmiller Razloch. Our Acting HOD of Emergency Medical Care, Mr. Ben van Nuchteren. HOD of Environmental Health, Mrs. Charlotte Mokwatle. HOD of Human Anatomy and Physiology, Dr. Pilani Nkomozepi. HOD of Medical Imaging and Radiation Sciences, Mrs. Lynn Hazel. HOD of Nursing, Professor Rohina Ngunyulu. HOD of Optometry, Dr. Ingrid Metzing. HOD of Podiatry, Mr. Sumisu Ntuli. HOD of Sport and Movement Sciences, Dr. Heather Morris Eaton. Head of Faculty Administration, Mrs. Batabile Velakazi. Manager of the Health Clinics, Dr. Peter Els. Manager of the Short Learning Programs, Mrs. Deirdre Gulio. 
Director of the Beat Research Center, Professor Habib Nurbai. Director of the Laser Research Center, Professor Heidi Abramsa. Director of the Olympic Study Center, it's vacant at the moment. And lastly, Director of the Water Health Research Center, Professor Thierry Barnard. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.